Allison, how are you doing today? How is everybody doing? What's going on? Hope your day has been fabulous. Super expialidocious. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gay, Crazy Game. <laughs> And um, this is Game of Makeup. I'm so glad you're here. You know, pull up a chair, you know, grab a glass of wine, grab you some coffee, you know, girl, grab you some kinds of tea. And, you know, and then get you a snack because we have a little bit of a battle going on today. We are going to be doing a $75 Clay Depot concealer that is brand new. It's been reformulated SPF 27 up against the new KVD Apple concealer, which also just came out that is $28. So if you guys want to see which one is going to win, then hang around and let's find out together. I just want to give a special shout out to Glam by Deep for sending me this lovely little mug um, that's just winging it. It's just so super cute. Um, she has merch over on her channel. Um, I will leave her information down below if you guys want to go over and check her out because she's just adorable. She's the sweetest thing. She's like the most nicest person. And not only that, but she's really helped me a lot. Um, I feel like we feed off of each other. She's just a very talented upcoming young makeup artist. So if you guys want to go over and check her channel out or if you want to check out her Instagram or even check out her merch, I will leave it down below below in the description box so you can check that out um and also you guys notice the backdrop it's changed a little bit so we've added some stuff i've added a little more greenery new candle you know I've added some dior i've added a little you know a, a new a couple new things here and there and then i also brought marilyn back so i brought the picture back um you know a smile is the best makeup any girl can wear you know that's always i just think that's such a great quote and i love marilyn monroe if you guys know i'm a vintage vintage hoe i love some 50s love some 40s love some some vintage makeup. <clears throat> I love um, collecting vintage makeup. So anyway, without that said, I'm not going to ramble on about that. Let's get into these concealers and this battle. So first of all, let's talk about the, um, let's talk about the Clay de Peau. Um, the Clay de Peau is actually, um, uh, it's an SPF 27 concealer. It's supposed to be a multitasking concealer that with, um, it's, it's an iconic um, concealer because this concealer has been out for a while. They just reformulated it. So they took the 25 out and made it a 27. It's supposed to be a little bit more creamy, a little bit more hydrating, a little bit more, but before it was a little bit more on the drier side um, because it, it effortlessly conceals and corrects dark spots and under eye circles and blemishes with a lightweight formula that blurs imperfections. It gives the full coverage with a natural, sophisticated airbrush look. Um, deliver six hours of hydration with an SPF around the eye area and after four weeks in improved smoothness and um, hydration and radiance. It comes in 12 shades and is $75 and it is a 0.17 ounce. Um, so this is what the actual concealer looks like. It's just like this, if I can get it to focus in there. You guys can kind of see it. Then it has a clay to post symbol on the top. The, the, it pops off just like so and it twists up like just like this, uh, which you will hear a little bit later in my final thoughts. So if you just want to skip over to that, you can, because um, I'm going to leave time stamps down below. So if you guys don't want to sit around for all of it, you can just go straight to that. Um, and then also then on this side, we're going to be doing the KVD, um, the, the KVD Good Apple Concealer. Um, and I actually have the Good Apple Foundation on today. I put up here on the screen. Um, this one has quite a bit on the KVD site. It's quite a lot of information. So I will try to throw it up here on the screen so you guys can see it a little bit more. But um, this is for the under eyes and beyond. It's crease resistant, no cake, full coverage, infused with apple extract to help nourish the skin. Um, and basically it's undetectable. It's all the pigment without the weight. Um, it's the coverage you'll get is unforgettable. It's supposed to blend out easily for a natural, subtle um, skin-like finish. Um, it's skin juicy like an apple. So on the outside, it looks really smooth. And on the inside, it looks very hydrated. Um, it has a seamless stretch, which has ultra concentrated interlaced pigments, which actually evenly spread over the crease resistant coverage with a brighter look for blemishes and dark circles that they said doesn't stand a chance. Um, so there's $28, um, $28 for this concealer. And then it's 32 shades in it. 
Um, let me open it up and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. It actually looks like it's got a little squeezy too, but it's not. It's just the tip, but it's hard. So the whole placket, it's plastic, it's a hard plastic. It has the KVD emblem on it, if you can see it a little bit. Um, and then it just twists out just like, it just like so, just like any normal concealer. And then we have an applicator. So the applicator is supposed to replicate a little bit of your finger. It's supposed to be um, kind of the shape of a finger. Um, so I have this one in the shade light um, 122 because my skin is a little bit lighter um, during the winter. Um, I've not been um, self tanning or anything this winter. I took a break from it. Um, so I'm not doing any of that. So my skin is usually a lot darker. But I love doing a lighter concealer sometimes because I like to mix them. And then in this one, I have this one in the shade beige. Um, and remember, this one only has 12 shades, and this one has um, 32. So there's a lot of a big difference as far as shade range goes. Price-wise, this is 28, and this is 75. So just keep that in mind. So with that said, let's just get into it and put it on and see how we really feel. On this side, we are going to do, I'm gonna do the Clay de Poe, and on this side, we're gonna do the KVD. So I'm going to start with this one a little bit. We're going to twist it up a little bit. It is a very, very creamy consistency. So you guys can see that. It blends out really, really smoothly onto the skin. Um, it's like you, it builds like a really good, almost close to medium coverage, depending how you want to do it. And then here, and then um, I like to kind of go in with my finger because it's a little bit of a stick. And um, if you guys are new to my channel, I love cream. So I love cream compact. I love cream foundation in a compact. I love, you know, stick foundation. I love anything in a stick. So I am all about a stick. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit up on my eye area. Now the difference, again, this one has an SPF in it. The other one does not. So it's going to be a little, this is going to be a, probably a little bit more on the lighter side because of the SPF. But we're just going to go in here and tap a little bit more in. Um, you can probably, you can definitely use this with the brush, but um, I just really like to use my finger with it. I'm going to take um, my BK Beauty sponge and I'm just going to go in here and tap it out. I'm just kind of like blend it in a little bit more. And again, I've not, I don't have any powder on. I don't have anything on except for just the KVD foundation. That's all I have. So I didn't have anything on the top of my lid or around my eye area. So I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit closer so you can see it. It looks very hydrated. It looks very luminous. It has like a very radiant kind of look to it. It looks very smooth. It looks very bright. Um, it looks really nice. I mean, you know, I have to say it looks very, very pretty. Um, so let me take just a little bit more. We're going to build it up just a little bit more right here. I'm going to add a little bit more there just to show you guys that it can build up. But you want to do it in layers. You don't want to do it in like, you know, try to really swipe on a lot. I would definitely do it in layers. And again, you could go definitely go in with the brush and really blend it in if you wanted. I really like it because it really, I think it really pushes it into the skin and it makes it look more seamless. But see how pretty that is compared to this eye? It just looks so much brighter on this side. It looks so much more fresher. So let's go in on the other side with the other. Add a little bit with the dough fit because it says it's a, it says it's a full coverage. Um, I don't really know that. I felt it a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, which in a minute, I'll show you. I'm so sorry. I went straight into the, <laughs> I forgot to show you what it looked like on the back of my hand, but I will in a minute. Let me just go in here and really just start blending it in and see what we look like when we're like adding it. Now, this one is definitely feeling silky. So it started off like really creamier and now it's starting to feel very like, I'm going to say like kind of a silicone feel to it. So it's got more where this one feels more tacky and it's got a little bit more of a, a hydration feel to it. This one's going to, this one's got more of like that powdery feel to it. Um, it looks really pretty. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm going to let, let me show you a guy's in the back of my hand a little bit so you can see what it looks like on the back of my hand here. So this is what the shade looks like. 
and then it goes right into the skin. It is really, really nice. It's drying down though a little bit more on the matte side where um, where this one is a little bit more on the, you can feel the a little bit more of the hydration on this one. This one feels more powdery. I am a very dry skin type and I'm 50 years old. Um, so usually these kind of concealers, I'm not really a big fan of because they don't um, do well on me, but, um, and I probably got the shade maybe a little too light, but I was afraid I'd, I did it online. I got it, um, I got it from Sephora, um, and I got it online and I was just really afraid that I was going to get it too dark. So because of the swatches didn't really look, um, I was kind of trying to tell between the swatches, but I mean, they both look pretty brightening. Okay. What do you guys think? So this is the this is the clay poe side, and this is the good apple side. So I just feel like, to me personally, I do feel like this is a little. I don't know why I feel like it's a little bit more lifted. I don't know. Maybe you guys may down below may disagree with me. Um, up close, this one looks a little. It looks a little dry. This one looks more hydrated. Um, cause you know, I do have lines and wrinkles underneath. Um, you know, you guys can see, I'll show you guys a little bit more closer. Um, I, you know, of course I did have my eye cream on and everything before I came in. Um, and we will, I'll build this one up just a little bit more. I feel like the coverage on this just with two swipes, you know, twice, it got a little bit more coverage, I think. Um, but let's play with this one. Let's add a little bit more to this one because I want to be fair so we can kind of make sure that we have it. I'm going to tap a little bit more there. And this time, I'm going to use my um, BK Beauty um, Angie brush. And we're going to go in here and tap it with the brush and just do a little bit more right through there. Just to add. And again, I may have gotten it maybe a little bit too light, but I mean, I don't mind it because I can use it and mix it with another concealer. And that doesn't bother me at all because I, I can always figure out, I always have room for a light concealer. I can blend it with another one because I usually, I use, if you guys are um, new or, you know, if you're just coming to my channel, I do love doing, uh, I, I mix concealers all the time. So I'm all about mixing concealers. I love mixing my Chanel corrector with um, most of my concealers because it just gives me that little ump um, because I never do normal concealers by themselves. But I will have to say, they both look really nice. They both look really pretty. I mean, you know, this one, again, this one, now that I've built it up even more, it looks like it's starting to get a little, like, up close on camera, it looks okay. But up close in the mirror, it looks a little crinkly. So, I don't know if you can see that or not. But let's just show you. Let me turn the light down just a minute. You guys can see it. Sometimes the light's a little deceiving. So this is the clay de Poe. And this is the good up. See, I feel like this one is a little more creasy, where this one's more smooth. What do you guys think? So you have to let me know down below like what you kind of think. Let me add just a little bit more here. I found that usually I don't like building concealers. I would rather have it. I don't like adding too much, um, you know, too much concealer because I just feel like it just eventually, on me, it just gets more crazy. Um, and then two, what I'll do is I'll, let me wipe my brush off a little bit. I'm going to go in here and tap into this a little bit and I'm kind of just going to go in around my nose on this side and a little bit around my lip. And let's just add a little bit of it here on the face. And then on this side, we'll do a little bit of the KVD on this side. Just in little places, we want to just add like a little bit more coverage. And again, it's a little, it's a little, this one's still a little on the light side too, but it's fine. I don't mind it. I'm pretty okay with it. Because again, I can mix it with a, um, a little bit more of another shade if I want. Or if I just want like a little bit more of a highlighted look. I like having a lighter concealer sometimes. I don't always like it to be... Um, the same as my skin tone or, you know, too dark. My nose, like took on the other side. And I get redness around my chin. I always get like redness around my chin. I've always had that, especially where my beard is. That is definitely where I get a lot of redness at. 
Okay, guys, because again, uh, they're both a little bit more on the lighter side, so it's okay. I'm not really worried about the lightness, but what do you guys think? So this is the KVD side, and this is the clay to pose side. It looks, it looks, does look really smooth up close. The KVD side is definitely more on the mat. It's definitely drying down to more of a matte. Where the the makeup, the makeup, if you guys have tried the makeup, the makeup has got more of a radiance. It doesn't have a matte. It's very, see, it's very balmy. It's very creamy. What, sorry, my hands are really, I had a really bad reaction to um, hand sanitizer, so my hands are a little messy. But see, if you guys can see, it's, it kind of dries down a little bit, but it's got like a little bit more of a glow to it. Um, it's got more of a glow to it than the concealer. Um, I feel in looking up close, it's definitely more matte on this side. So it's definitely got more of that matte look. Um, this one looks a little bit more natural. It's got more of a natural look to it and my glow is coming through a little more. Um, you can see some of my glow through it, but I just feel like it, even after building it up on that spot, I feel like it's making it look kind of patchy. Um, it's not, it's separating a little bit. It's not as smooth there. It looks a little bit drier here underneath this eye. Um, as, whereas this one, like, see when I smile, I just feel like this one's more crinkly, where this one is more smooth. So when I'm smiling, see, it's like, it's like, even though I've got lines there, it's like, it looks like it's kind of, it's not, this one is not creasing. This one's creasing a little bit. It's creasing a little bit, but it just looks more dry-like. So it just looks more crinkly. So, I mean, you know, which I would have to fit. And I mean, I could always fix it and add more to it to make it look a little bit more, um, less creasy. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm very... I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with this one because I was kind of hoping, I love the foundation so much. The Good Apple, the Bomb is just really good. It's a good foundation. Um, I'm really hating this because this is $75 and I just, you know, it's like, but I love Clay to Pose. They're a, a beautiful brand and they have great skincare, really awesome. KVD, I don't use a lot of their stuff, but I mean, I've heard really, really good things about it. And a lot of you guys have really told me some things that I should try from the brand and the brand is really cool. They have some really good stuff, but you know, but it just could see that I don't know. I mean, right now I'm just not, I'm not really feeling it. Um... So what I'm going to do is let me go off camera. I'm going to do maybe, um, let's do a little bronzer just to give me some color because now I feel like I'm really washed out with these light concealers. Let me do a little bit of bronzer and come back home and then we will just do, we'll give my final thoughts and just kind of let you guys see what I think. Anyway, um, so... When working with the balm on this side, it seemed like it just went a little smoother over it because the balm is like, it's a little bit more of a, not a radiant because it dried down to a matte, but it just seemed to smooth on this one. This side is, it looks smooth, but up close, guys, I can really, really super see my pores. Like, it's like, it's really kind of settling in my pores. It kind of like, it kind of just matted out and kind of set in my pores, kind of like what Lawless, the Lawless Foundation did to me. And I had to go back and really doctor it to make it look really pretty. I mean, on camera, it's not looking bad. On camera, it's looking pretty good. But up close, especially up underneath my eye, I mean, I could definitely see it. It's creased a couple times. Um, It looks very more dry looking, especially up close. It looks a lot more dry. Um, Where this eye, it's not really, it just looks it looks a little bit more hydrated. Um, it's not super hydrated, but it looks a little bit more hydrated and it hasn't creased on this side. This side, it keeps creasing. Um, you know, it's still, it's got like a, it's got a little bit more of a, that, that silky silicone kind of texture to it on this side. Um, but again, the, the blush applied beautifully over it. The, um, bronzer applied beautifully over it. The, um, Actually, a little bit of the topper, it applied really beautifully over it. Um, it still it looked, re it went over really nice over it. I could just see it though, kind of sitting in my pores though a little bit, which is something that never happens to me. I never have anything set in my pores. Um, so I know that when I when it sets in my pores too much, and I've even been using um, one or two new matte foundations just to play with them, and they've looked really beautiful on my skin. So even some mattes look good on me, actually, believe it or not. But I mean, but it's just a little bit too much. 
man, I think, on this side. This side just seems more radiant. It's got more of a radiance to it. I think it just went into my skin more. I don't see it in my pores. Um, it didn't do any of that. It didn't look too... Um, dry. It didn't feel now. The older one was dry on me. I did not like the older one. I tried it once or twice. I thought it was very matte feeling. I did not like it. It was just too matte for me. This one I do like. I like the way that they've reformulated it. Whatever they've done to it to add the skin, more skin care in it, I'm really enjoying more. Um, so I don't know guys. I mean, I have to be honest with you. I really a little disappointed with this one. First impression and firstly trying this um, I'm not feeling it. I mean, and it's like if I don't end up like liking it during the day after one day or so, I'm going to return it. I mean, because I'm going to keep it because it's a little bit too matte for me. I think someone with a very normal skin or somebody that's more normal to oily or combination, I think they would really like this. It just makes me, if you've got really dry under eyes, you know, young, mature, older, in between, middle age, doesn't matter what. But if you've got drier eyes, this may be a little bit too dry for you. Um, I mean, again, you can go in the store and swatch it. I would recommend that anyway to go in and find a shade because it's got 32 shades. The shade range is great. Beautiful shade range. The price is great. Got a, I mean, it was got a lot more product in it. This is a 0.33 versus this one, which is a 0.17. Now, if you're looking at shade range and you're looking at price, this one is better. If you're looking at this one for shade, then looking for this for price, this is $75. This is a 0.17 ounce. Of course, it's the thicker, it's a stick, so you're gonna just, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna put it on more different. Um, this was more of a liquid, but you do get a lot more in this one. Um, you know, it's, as far as that goes, if you're looking for, you know, shade more, I mean, the shade range is going to be better than this and not only that, but this is $75. Um, so, but I have to say, I think this is the winner for me. I mean, I'm not just saying that because it's clay to Poe and it's a little bit more expensive. I was kind of hoping I was going to like this one more because it said it was moisturizing. It was kind of glowy and hydrating. Um, so right now, right now, off of my first impression, though, I'm going to go with the Clay to Poe. I'm not crazy about an SPF of mine. I don't like that. I really wanted this one to be it, though, because I really, I love KVD, that foundation. I just love it. And I'm sure that, again, like I've heard so many good things about them um, and their products and how good they are. And I just need to, I need to go check out more of them. I just haven't. But, um, you know, but I know, I think you guys definitely should give it a shot. You should try it. I mean, you know, it's like, again, I'm going to leave more, once I get more together and try it, I'll leave it down in the pinned comments uh, box so I can give it more of a fair chance because I don't want to give this an unfair chance. I want to give this a shot. So I want to try this a couple more times before I make a final judgment on it. But I mean, a bit on a first impression on it, it looks good on camera and it does look really smooth. And I mean, it looks pretty nice. Um, it, everything went over it really nicely. Um, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about that. It just looks like it's just sitting in my pores more, which again, I don't have problems with anything sitting in my pores. This one didn't sit in my pores. Um, so, and it, this one also didn't have any problem with the bronzer or the blush or anything going over top of it. And I'm not set it with powder. Um, I don't usually set anything with powder underneath my eyes because if I do, it normally makes them look more dry. Um, so normally I stay away from that. Um, so I'm just... It's just going to take me a little while to get used to it and play with it a little bit more. But um, I will keep you guys up to date on this one. But, you know, let me know down the sound off in the comments down below what you think. I mean, which one did you, do you think this one looks better? I mean, if you do, then let me know. I mean, I mean, again, I'm going to definitely try to give this more of a shot. I'm not going to say this is it and I'm never going to try it again. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Because for the price and the amount of ounces that's in it and me really enjoying the KVD, the Good Apple Foundation, I definitely want to give this a shot and make sure to see before I finally say, okay, you know, I'm not really crazy about it. It's just on a first impression. I'm not feeling it as much as I am this one. Um, you know, because this is $75, guys, for, you know, I mean, there are plenty of other concealers. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy a $75 concealer. It's This is an awful lot. For me to have spent that money, it was so hard, I mean, to do that because I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. I mean, it's as beautiful as it is. I don't know if I will keep it or not because it's so, it's $75 is a lot of money right now. 
<laughs> just like, I mean, you know, it's like, so, I mean, I maybe we return to both of them, but a bit is like, a bit as far as, I did it because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to test it out because I wanted you guys, because I know that there's a lot of people have been asking about this one and this is new and I know a lot of people are going to be doing this one too and I know that the good apple went viral and everybody's going to be wondering what this is going to be like. Um, so, just the, what's said, you know, because I feel like I'm, I'm already rambling for about 10 minutes here on these two products. Going backwards and forwards, I just, I just feel like this one is overpriced. This one is a great price. It's not bad, and the shades are better. It's just this one's just not working as well for me as this one is. But will I keep it? I don't know. I mean, you know, I've done that before where I've done reviews, and I will try stuff, and I really like it. But because the price tag is so heavy, it's a little bit much for me to actually stick around and keep. Um, so, I mean, because I would probably use it. I mean, I definitely would use it. I just don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. So, anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. What you, what do you guys think about this? I mean, have you guys picked up either one of these concealers? Have you tried it already? Do you love it? I mean, you might love, you guys might love this one. You know, let me know. Um, you know, maybe I'll try another way of putting it on. I mean, I've tried it with my finger, and I'll definitely try it with the sponge. I mean, I'll try it a couple different ways to see. Um, I mean, uh, to try it out to see what happens happens. Um, you know, I might even try it with the powder over it just to see. I mean, even though I don't, I don't wear powder, but I can try it. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. And, you know, with that said, we are out of here. So, anyway, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself, and remember to love somebody today. Make sure you reach out and tell somebody that you love them. And also, be kind to someone today because a little kindness can go off a long way because um, it can make a big difference in somebody's life. You just never know. And, you know, take care of yourself, and we will see you guys again in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.